Hey and welcome back to the Paperless Movement. Today we will dive into our brand new setup inside ClickUp. Earlier this year, we already showed a sneak peek of how we're setting up ClickUp. We are using it for more than three years already and we are really leveraging it to the max. We're looking left and right to alternatives, but no other project manager is able to date to check all the boxes that we are looking for, especially as we are combining business project management and business knowledge management, as you can see on our i framework. And now with this new upgrade of our workflows inside ClickUp, this is now getting closer to the ClickUp like a pro course that so many of you are waiting for. And this is actually part of the things that you will learn in this course. We want to show you the current state. This is not the final version, but it's getting very close now to the final version that we are using. And it's key here that we are taking our own medicine. Everything that you learn at the Paperless Movement and that we recommend are things that we are using ourselves on a daily basis. So we are using ClickUp every day in order to run the Payless movement, in order to publish the YouTube videos and so on. But you will see right now how this looks like. Okay, here's our ClickUp setup. And this is already one of the superpowers of ClickUp compared to other tools like Asana, for example. In Asana, I can have a portfolio where I can bring in projects and see an overview of all the things. In ClickUp, everything is dynamic and has a hierarchy. So I can always go to my top level and then I see every Thing that I see below. So in order to do this, you see already here, I'm on the top level here on the space level. And therefore I go to this view, this week view. And now I see all the tasks across all the folders below, which includes our leadership lists and the courses that we are creating and the work streams and the YouTube videos, then the operations folder and so on. All the things, all the tasks appearing in there are listed here because I'm on top level. Now I could go to the courses level, for example, and click on the folder. Now I see a top overview, which is new in the ClickUp 3.0, an overview that shows me now all the lists below with the start and end date, because you can also give start and end dates to lists and you see the progress. So for example, we just launched a course note taking system. We already launched a course email management system. And here you see the other courses that we are working on and release dates when we will release these courses. And this is really powerful. Now I could create new views that are specific for this folder. And that's why we split things into the different folders. As you can see here, we have the projects, which are the courses for us that we are working on. And then we have our work streams and work streams are recurring projects. So this means you can streamline these projects because it's recurring. You will repeat things and therefore you can optimize it. And therefore that's a list that will never get completely closed as it is an ongoing list. And for a good example, our YouTube videos work stream here. So whenever we plan out YouTube videos and we think about working on them, this is the place. And this is also fully automated. So for example, I start working on a video, I record on this and the due date in this time is actually the date when I will work on these things. And the moment I completed the video, it's uploaded to YouTube, it's already scheduled on YouTube, then we will change the due date to the release date. So it becomes the release date. And once this happens, I add the YouTube URL here, which will trigger an automation that sets the status to the scheduled. And then it will wait until the due date arrives and it sets it to completed. The moment it switches to completed, it triggers a SAP automation. And this moves all the information from ClickUp to Airtable because we are also using Airtable in order to synchronize with our WordPress website. So that's the reason why you don't see the Airtable on our ICO framework because it's solely for the purpose of our website management and therefore to us it's not really part of the productivity system that we are using. It's just an intermediate place where everything gets synchronized to WordPress as ClickUp cannot be used for this. But this is the automation that you see there. So it sends everything to Airtable, it's in a database and this will then publish this automatically on our WordPress website but this is happening here. And then the same happens for the articles from Paco. We are only working inside ClickUp. Here is where we complete things and the rest is automations whenever it goes outside ClickUp. But this is where the magic happens here. And also we have a tools database in ClickUp. So eventually in ClickUp 3.0, 
this will be not only task lists, these will actually become items and therefore we can finally build proper databases. But the connections and the relationships are already there. So you see, I'm mentioning ClickUp here, MEM and other tools that I talk about in this video. So therefore when I click here, I see MEM, I can click on MEM and it opens up MEM which is on a different database and it shows me now all the related content that I can click here and I see all the videos that I already published and I can click here and then I have the link directly to the YouTube video this, this was published on and I have all the other information like the Descript link where I was editing in and so on. So this is why ClickUp to us is the ultimate single source of truth and it's so key now going from information to action but then also from action back to information and keep the links existent. So I can always follow up with tasks and projects that are already completed and find information that is already closed. Here for example you see these labels that's also something when we go to our top level again and we go to the this week's view, you see here a lot of different labels appearing. When we click on the labels, you see there are a lot of different labels and this is our business pillars. And this is a new approach on how you can always make sure to work towards your business goals without always reviewing the business goals and seeing what you need to do next. This is something that will be also part of the ClickUp like a pro course and the project management course inside the Pebbles Movement membership. And then this is actually key. We are in the this week's view. And this was our ultimate goal to find a way in order to always see what we need to work on right now. This is an important part of i that we always are ahead of the game and know exactly what we need to work on right now, how to reprioritize what is important right now this week and next week. And then we have milestones compared to the normal task and the milestones are the weekly goals because in our opinion, you should always have weekly goals. These are tasks that have no excuse, they need to be completed. And then whenever all the milestones are completed, and there's still free time, we could fill them up with other tasks and our task management like a pro course that will be released soon as well. There we talk about to do's versus speedies and the different time differences. Then there's also energy levels that you learn in the ICO mastery course inside the Paperless Movement membership. That's why we have one membership for you to unlock everything in there with all the different courses because everything you will get a boost watching just one course there but in the end it will make sense whenever you go through the whole courses and then building your productivity system really end to end and ClickUp plays a major part in there when it comes to project management but obviously the project management course will be tool agnostic as well. So now we have the superpower. I have, I know exactly what I need to work on this week. I have then this week's goals which filters then by milestones. Now I see only the milestones that I need to work on. And then I have the next week's view that just shows me what I need to work on next week. So for example, whenever I think, ah oh no, I have no time this week to work on this as well. I just move it to the Monday next week because Mondays is when I plan out the whole week. So therefore the morning and the Monday I come in I see the whole list of things that I need to do and then I can plan them out for the next week. It makes no sense if you plan out every minute of a week. There needs to always be buffer time because you will not be satisfied end of the week. There are always things coming in between, interrupting your workflows and so on. That's why we focus so much on these weekly goals, which are the milestones, and then filling up the time in between with other tasks that are not so important but still need to get done. And therefore, either if you run out of tasks, you can go to next week and just move them to your week in order to work on them. Or you stay in this week and you complete and you're just happy and you just take a day off. But this week view and next week view, this is really key. That's something that we implemented since our last video that we did there. Also the business pillars. This is something very important. Everything is now structured as you can see here, the operations. And we will dive into SOP creation and how we do this in ClickUp as well. So stay tuned on this because we are just setting things up. To us, it makes no sense to write SOPs if the process is not defined and not running. So we've been testing our setup over and over again. We have working documents where we made some notes, but now we are very close to the final solution, how we will use ClickUp from now on. And therefore it's now time to write down the SOPs. You will see the SOPs that we do there if you are a member of the Paperless Movement membership and see exactly 
how we run our ClickUp as a business project manager and business knowledge management system. So what do you think? Would you like to have this system as well in your ClickUp setup? Then let us know in the comments below and join the Payless Movement membership if you haven't already. Paco and I are personally inside the membership answering all your questions that you might have in ClickUp. Also doing screen recordings for our members and sharing them inside our membership to better explain the details. And if you like the video, share it with your friends, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel so I can catch you up next time.